Welcome to the video tutorial of Easy Optimus, a web-based restaurant management software. This video guides you on how to take and manage dine-in orders at your restaurant using Easy Optimus. In this type of service, the guests enter the dining area and take seats. The waiter then offers them water and a menu card. The guests place their order to the waiter. Let's look at the operation of the dine-in order type in Easy Optimus, and how it can be useful to the restaurant. Once the user is logged into Easy Optimus, the user can see the dine-in order type here. Upon clicking on dine-in, the user enters into the table service window where they can see the various seating areas like indoor, pool, garden side, where the tables are placed to take the order. Let's start with the order and look after the numerous options available to complete the cycle, from taking the order to settling the bill. When the user clicks on the table, the order information form pops up. Here, the user is required to capture the guest's information which includes waiter name, number of packs, guest name, special remark, and others. This form is optional and can be turned off. Upon filling up the form, the user redirects to the order window, where the menu items icons are available to select. Different modes are available here to view the menu. To search for a menu item by its name, use the search option. The user selects the menu items of the guest's choice and places the order. Let's punch a few items. What if the user selected the wrong menu item or entered the wrong quantity for the selected menu items? To overcome such errors efficiently, the order window offers certain operations that allows the user to perform modifications instead of leaving the order window. The user is allowed to delete the menu item from the order page. Select the item and click on the void option to remove the item. If the user requires to change the quantity for the selected menu item, it can be done by selecting the item, changing the quantity, and clicking here. Preparation remarks can also be added for the particular menu item as per the guest's preference. Let's see how to put such special food preparation remarks for an item. The first step is to select the menu item. Click on this option and add the remark here like extra cheese. To give any item as complimentary to the guest, the user can apply a discount of 100% and name it as complimentary. There are a couple of useful options available like hold item, fire item, etc. that can make the operation easy. Hold item is used when the guest wants certain items to be served after some time. When any item is put on hold it won't print on the KOT and the KOT of that item will print when it is set to fire. First select the item which the guest wants after a specific time. Click here and select hold item. The user then needs to fire the item manually at the exact time the guest has asked for it. Click on save to place the order. Once the order is placed, the order gets printed to the respective kitchen in a form of kitchen order ticket. If the restaurant does have separate preparation areas for food and beverages, the restaurant can use the separate KOT printer concept to get the order printed in the respective kitchen's printer. If the guest requests to transfer the order to another table, it can be done with the transfer option where the user gets the choice to select the section. Transfer process gets completed upon selecting the other table. If the guest calls the waiter and places another order, the user is required to click on the same table where a recall button is placed. Recall option is used to open the running order on the table. Once the order is open, 
users can punch the items and save it. Upon saving the order it will print the new items only in the kitchen or bar. The items punched earlier won't print again as it was already printed. It may happen that after placing the order, the guest changes his mind and wants to cancel an item from the order, or the user punches the item mistakenly and creates the KOT. In such cases, the user can remove the item by using the recall option. Select the item which the guest cancelled and click here to remove it and then click on save. Once the guest is done with the food, they will request for a bill. While making a guest check, if a discount is required to apply, it can be done with the help of a discount option. Select the table and tap on recall. To give a discount on the entire bill amount, click here. Select the discount type. If a discount is to be given on any specific item, then click on the item. Select the discount option. Select the discount type. Close the window after applying the discount. To give discounts on more than one item in an order, then use this option. This option is called Bulk Item Discount, which facilitates the user to give a discount on more than one item in one shot. Click here. Select the items on which discount is to be given. Click here. And select the discount which has to be given. Click on Print to print the guest check. Then select Save. To update the order details, the receipt which gets generated is called a guest check. It is an unsettled receipt, as the waiter hands it over to the guest for verification. Post verification, once the guest is ready for the settlement, the user opens the table and clicks on the settle option. While processing the payment, if the guest expresses his feelings to consider changing the due amount as a tip, the user is required to tap on the tip option. In case the guest is short of cash and willing to settle the bill with multiple payment modes, this can be taken care of by breaking the settlement amount among cash and other settlement modes. Suppose the guest paid 50 in cash and the balance payment via card. Put the amount here as 50. Select the payment mode as cash and click here. The balance amount will show up automatically and the user needs to select the new payment mode. For example I am selecting Visa. These are all the steps which a user has to perform when any guests dine in, in the restaurant. To view or reprint the settled receipts, click on the navigation button. Then order a summary. To view all the settled and open orders, select all. To see the settled receipts only, go to the settled section. To reprint or void a receipt, select the receipt and choose one of the options from here. This was all about the dine-in operation in Easy Optimus. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries or feedback, Please write an email to cm at aztechnosis.com or contact us on 24-7 live chat support.